this small video, we'll show you everything you need to know about the picture wall. You can find the picture wall within the props. After you placed it in your studio, it's possible to go into the settings here, where you can change its position, the size, or its bending. Choose from all available pictures here. If you're now satisfied with them, you could also add your own images from your computer. It's possible to use JPEGs as well as PNGs with transparency if you use the studio version. So your own pictures will show up in the list as well. What? You didn't mean to do that? Not a problem. Deleting them again works easily by clicking on the trash icon. If you're, for example, knocked out the background of a screen and imported it as a PNG, you can now achieve the typical shadows by flashing through the transparent parts of the screen. How cool is that? By using the picture wall, you're able to import nearly everything that's necessary to build up your setup in a set.a.light 3D. There's another great feature right here. Taking the picture wall out of the light calculation gives you the possibility to set the brightness of your image without any influence through the flashlights. That's how you can insert a background for composing into your setup and then build up the flash matching your ambience without having any lights or shadows visible on your picture wall.